I'm Ava. Ellie Curlis. Kaylee Baker. Laura Price. And I'm Maddie Mountain. And, and we, we are the, the Bare, Bare Minimum Podcast. For this week's podcast, we had students send in questions for us to answer. Is What is your favorite state and why? Mine would be Texas because it's like home and it's really nice and warm and they got big amusement parks. Mine would probably be Florida because it has Disney World and the beach and palm trees. And I think mine would be Montana because of mountains. So who are your guys' favorite teachers? Mine would be Miss Souter. Yeah, I agree. But don't tell her that. Mine's Mrs. Yuda. Mine is two. Is Bigfoot real? No. Yes. I agree with Ava. I think maybe, but not necessarily. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, how long have you guys been going to HN? Since kindergarten. I've also been going since kindergarten. Me too. I've been going since eighth grade. What's your guys' favorite sport? Yeah, I don't really think I have one. They're all really good. I like volleyball. I like <laughs> volleyball too. <laughs> Do you guys think high school's fun? Not uh, necessarily. I think high school is full cool with a lot of stress. And yeah, I think it's kind of up in the air. It's like who you surround yourself with, making sure you choose the right people, but also like what you do in your free time and how much you let schoolwork stress you out. Yeah. I think it's important to note that we don't have to be involved in everything, even though it's really pushed upon us. <laughs> but sometimes it really it's time is. to take a break. Like I'm involved in so much, but sometimes it's just time to relax. I'm here with Joseph Pretty Craig. And we're going to be doing the hot minute questions in three, two, one. What's your favorite candy? Hershey's. Favorite holiday? Christmas. Favorite teacher? Miss... I, I can't think of one. Okay, what would you buy if you had a million dollars? A PlayStation 5. Is that all? Yes. If you had a unicorn, what would its name be? I don't, I can't think this fast. I don't know. What do you do in your free time? I play video games. What's your favorite song? Um, uh, I can't think this fast. You gotta be kidding me. I, I don't remember. Do you have any pets? Uh, uh, cat. What's its name? Kisses. What's your favorite book? The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. <laughs> Do you believe in aliens? No. Then that's it. I can't think. Sunday, November 13th was World Kindness Day. We're going to be asking students here at HN what kindness means to them. And we're also going to be interviewing our school's social emotional learning director, Shelby Rowland, and asking her what kindness means. We're here with Shelby Rowland. Um, Shelby, do you want to introduce yourself and talk about your position at the school? Sure. So, um, Shelby Rowland, I'm the Social Emotional Learning Director at Hard Northern. This is my second year in the position. Um, so, I started last year after working as a mental health counselor at an agency in Kenton. So, I get to work with the whole entire building, so K through 12, um, whether individually, small groups, whole classroom, and doing all kinds of different things. Okay, what made you want to go into this field? Well, I originally wanted to go into counseling um, because I really wanted to help kids. I knew I wanted to work with kids, but teaching didn't seem to be the thing I wanted to do. Um, so I looked into counseling, and so it's a different form of helping, a more intense form of helping, um, and it seemed like a really good fit. So that's just the direction I went. So I get to work with 
Um, at my old job, I got to work with anywhere from the age of three all the way up to 22. So now I don't have to work with quite as wide of a range here, but then I got to work with a lot of different people. Why did you choose to work here? Why did I choose to work at Hardin Northern? Well, I graduated from Hardin Northern in 2011, so just a couple years ago. Um, my husband teaches kindergarten here. We live here in the district. I love this school. I love the community. Um, so when Dr. Price gave me a call and said, hey, we have this new position we want in our building for our students, um, it didn't take me very long to say yes. Um, because now I get to get back directly to where I came from versus just Hardin County itself. So I thought I was very blessed to have that kind of opportunity to just kind of set out there in front of me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what's your favorite part about your job? Ooh, that's a tough question because I think there's very few aspects I dislike about my job. Um, I would say just working one-on-one -on -one with students is my absolute favorite. Um, so whether you've got kindergartners who are ping-ponging off the walls here in my room, or I've got high schoolers coming in and want to talk about very serious stuff, mm -hmm. I think just working with students one-on-one um, -on -one is my absolute favorite. Okay, World Kindness Day was yesterday. Mm -hmm. So what does kindness mean to you? Kindness to me means thinking about others before you think about yourself. Um, you know, so it's doing, doing the nice things without consciously thinking about it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this is a skill that it's part of our social emotional curriculum too, through Character Strong, and it's consciously doing it at first. Like, so that's why there is World Kindness Day. So we think about it like, oh yeah, I forgot I need to open the door. I should help somebody. I need to do this because then it becomes a habit. It's something that you do without thinking. So I think, you know, it's just intentionally doing some things but then eventually it becomes just part of your daily habits and the things that you do mm -hmm. yeah what is your favorite act of kindness oh, see that these are tough questions <laughs> my favorite act of kindness i don't know i think one of the smallest things but i think it's one of the most impactful things is um genuinely asking someone how their day is um, I think we do that a lot of times, like, you know, in the morning people walk by, it's good morning, how are you doing? And I think it's when you're genuinely asking that and people pick up on that. I think that says a lot um, because someone, you know, is recognizing, it. oh, yeah, they actually want to know how I'm doing versus just saying it just to yeah. say it. So I think it's a small one, but honestly, it makes a huge impact on people. So kindness can really, like, affect our mental health. Oh. What makes mental health so important? Mental health is just so important across the board um, because it plays into everything that we do. Um, so it plays into your success as a student, it plays into your success as an athlete, as whatever you want to do, you know, even career-wise. Um, I think a lot of times mental health gets put on the back burner because it's something that people can't see. You know, the things internally that we're thinking or that are going on people don't see and they only know about it if you tell somebody about it. Um, whereas our physical health, like if I have a broken leg, you can obviously see I have a broken leg and we need to fix that. Um, so I think mental health is something that, you know, even when I was in high school, it was not really talked about. Um, so it's like, well, they've got issues or they've got something going on. And I think even now, I think sometimes students can still feel that way, but it's something that plays into everything. So I think really talking about it and addressing it, it's beneficial for everyone. So, you know, you don't have to be significantly depressed or anxious like if you just have a tough test coming up and you want to like bounce ideas off like how do I study for this that all goes into mental health so um, there's lots of aspects to it and like I said it it goes into everything we do so what is one thing we can do to help those with mental illnesses I guess it kind of depends on you know kind of what you're talking about but I think being a genuinely good friend is a great start um, with any of us so whether we're you know dealing with mental health or just stress of life um, when we have support from other people that goes a long way when we have someone that's in our corner backing us up willing to help um, you know I think it helps people not feel alone and that's you know where I think the the start of mental health starts right there do you think kindness could potentially be bad be bad 
I think with how you present kindness could come across as not very genuine. So, um, you know, if I'm making compliments about someone's outfit and I, you know, I have a sarcastic tone, people know that's not really me and I'm saying it just to say it, that's when it can come across um, and be, I think, hurtful in that way because I don't know about you ladies, but I think we pick up on people's social cues and you're like, all right, why are they being sarcastic? Like, they don't actually mean that. And so I think when you're not being genuine and you're saying it just to say it, then it can come across that way, definitely. Okay. So last question, um, do you think hard Northern is kind? I would say from the interactions that I see, so going into classrooms, interactions in the hallway, um, you know, extracurricular activities outside of school, the student interactions I see there, I feel like are kind. Um, now, you know, I don't know everything that's going on outside of school and those sort of things. So I'm sure there are not kind things going on, but I would say in general, I feel like our kids are great, our staff is great, our community is great. Um, so you have those outliers that are in there, but I think genuinely, you know, we have a kind community. Okay, thank you. Awesome. Any, like, anything else you wanna say about mental health or kindness or your job? <laughs> um, I would just say in general, don't be afraid to reach out and talk to somebody. I think that's one of the biggest things. Um, at my old job, a lot of kids came to see me because they had to come to see me. So um, here in the building, you guys have that opportunity. And I think this year it's much different than last year. Um, it doesn't have to be something significant going on. Like like I said, you know, if you have a test going up, coming up and it's stressful or trying to think about college options and it, it is a lot on your plate and trying to figure it out. How do I balance the 10 extracurriculars I'm involved in plus my full class schedule? All of those things can be worked on, you know, with me or talked about. So I think, um, you know, like I said, if you just need an ear to listen to, I'm a great person for that. So I'll just put a plug in there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm Heidi Troxwell, and kindness to me is holding open the door for somebody. Hi, my name is Lola Duncan, and kindness means showing up for the people you love. My name is Kyler Sedlock. Kindness to me is being nice when you don't want to. My name is Macy, and being kind is like giving respect to each other. My name is Jesus, and kindness to me is being nice to all your friends. My name is Alyssa Heldman, and kindness means to me is putting yourself before others and caring about them more than you care about yourself. Being kind means showing like grit, well, showing grit. My name is Carly and being kind means to, to respect people and say thank you to people. My name is Lily and being kind means to like be nice to someone and not be mean to them. My name is Vivian and being kind is to encourage people and say nice things to each other. My name's Wyatt and kindness to me is being nice day to day. I'm Justin Reffitt and kindness means minding your own business. And that's it for this week on The Bare Minimum. See you guys soon.